Hi, I'm Anna Zobel and I'm a Star Diamond Beachbody coach and I just want to share with you what my morning routine is. I'm up here in my bedroom. I'm trying not to show you the uh, mess in here. <laughs> but anyway, so I was just going to kind of walk you through what I do every morning. Um, I have one alarm set up by my bed uh, that rings at about 4.50 in the morning and then I have my phone plugged in away from me so that I would have to actually get out of bed to get to it and that is scheduled for 5 in the morning to alarm. So I get up, um, a lot of times after the first one rings I stay, stay in bed for a little bit, I kind of move all my joints around, get you know kind of stretched out, um, I try to start doing some of my uh, gratitude thoughts and everything and then I go um, in the bathroom, I weigh myself um, and so that I don't wake up my husband I actually do um, some of my reading in the bathroom just so that I uh, <laughs> get it uh, done so I every morning I read um, the Book of Mormon in Spanish I just read like a, a page of that I try to write in my gratitude journal I've got it sitting right there with the and um, I uh, I learned one tip about writing in the gratitude journal that I've been trying the last couple of weeks, and that is to um, uh, instead of writing five things that you're grateful for, um, it was from Mor Marie Forleo. I'm walking downstairs, so I'm trying to be careful. Um, <laughs> and she said that instead of write, writing um, five things that you're grateful for, you talk about one thing that you're grateful for and write five aspects of that thing that you're grateful about. And so I've been trying that. She said that it's actually really powerful and, and I do kind of feel more gratitude. So then I come down the stairs and as I come down the stairs I'm on my phone and I'm getting to the apps that I have for listening to um, different things. I try to listen to a different conference talk each day. Um, that's uh, conferences from our church. Um, I, I belong to the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, that's the Mormons, and so they have a conference every six months, so I try to listen to those, listen to at least one conference talk, and then I listen to different recordings that I've made um, that are like my affirmations, and I also listen to a recording I made of reading my patriarchal blessing. If you want to know what all those things are, you can go to my website, and um, I'll put on there some links to um, help you just understand my spiritual beliefs and that kind of thing. So then I come down here into our living room and most recently I've started trying to um, uh, do meditation. So I come right here, here's my little recliner chair <laughs> um, and I set my phone uh, to alarm in four minutes. I'm trying to work up from there but I want to do at least a good three minutes of meditation and um, I like a phrase uh, that I got from uh, Jen Sincero. Uh, she's the author of You Are a Badass. <laughs> she has a great book, but she said one affirmation that you can do while you're meditating is like saying, I am um, open, I am available, please show me how. I like to say, please show me the way. So I just basically, my meditation is really simple. I just try to pay attention to my breathing, and if my thoughts wander, I try to bring them back in. Um, and uh, while I'm meditating, I've turned on my DVD player. I'll show you over here. Um, there's my our big TV and the DVD player. I've put in my workout for the day and kind of get, gotten it started. And then I, I also get my big glass of water. Um, I'll get my energy and endurance drink if I am doing that for the day. And then I... Um, put my workout on and I use my laptop, which I'm holding my laptop, so <laughs> um, I use my laptop and I turn on some kind of audio or video for my personal development for the day. So I go on to YouTube, I like things from Tony Robbins, from Brendan Burchard, um, like I said I've been listening to Jen Sincero's books and Marie Forleo. Um, so anyway, so I go to either their YouTube videos or I listen to my personal development books on my Audible app on Audible.com. And that's how I'm able to get through my workouts <laughs> because, as you know, as a uh, somebody that does Beachbody all the time, they're all workout videos. And so I know people can get really burned out on them or they can get, you know, say that they're too boring or whatever. And so, um, so that's how I get through my workout videos and actually finish, you know, doing them is that I... 
um, watch something while I turn down the volume on the workout video and watch some um, personal development. So, and then when I'm done with my workout, I go in my kitchen, I make my Shakeology, um, that's my meal replacement for the day, for the morning for breakfast, and then I I usually do a lot of beach body stuff first if I only if I don't have to be at the office until 8:30. Um, I will do um, you know message people with my beach body groups and that kind of thing. Um, if I have to be to surgery at 7 a.m., then a lot of times I'll just have to go and get ready right away. So. Anyway, uh, you can use any of those things. I've kind of added those things slowly over time. You know, uh, before my um, my only routine was trying to at least read like a column in the scriptures every day. And so it's kind of added up. There's all these different things that I've kind of added, like the personal development. You know, now I'm trying to do the meditation. That's the, near, the um, most recent thing that I've added. So... Anyway, um, you feel free to use any of those practices. Um, oh, uh, I also really like what uh, Tony Robbins said in a recent interview that he does for 10 minutes every day. I've been trying to do a little bit of that. He says for three minutes he focuses on uh, gratitude and all the things he's grateful for. And then for three minutes he focuses on sending love out to, he said, love and healing and, um, you know, blessings basically to all the people that he loves. It's kind of like this circular thing comes back to him, you know? And then the last three minutes he calls th uh, three to thrive and he um, visualizes um, basically the successes that he wants in life, the things that he wants to happen, the big goals that he wants to happen, the vision that he has. And so I've been trying to also do that, you know, maybe during my meditation. And of course, I, I forgot to mention prayer. I do pray every morning. Um, and I really try to ask for those blessings for other people and also ask that I, you know, uh, kind of align my will with God is my big prayer each day. So anyway, I hope that helps. <laughs> Make sure you click on the links below if you want to learn more.